Good day to all of you. I am Moshe Safdie, the design architect for the Bishan project. We were delighted when Capital Land approached us and commissioned us to design this new housing complex in Bishan. We are at work for many months now trying to evolve a concept that changes the paradigm of urban living. Forty years ago, we designed and built for the Montreal's World's Fair, Expo 67, an experimental housing project. The motto was, for everyone a garden. We tried to reinvent the apartment building, to rethink the paradigm of how high-density urban housing is built today. On a three-acre site such as this, the traditional conventional solution is to build a number of towers, two or three towers, and so that you have separate extrusions of independent buildings. In Bishan, we have one continuous structure. It is perforated and permeated by large openings. There are bridges that connect the structure at three levels. Uh, there are gardens in the sky and on the ground. There are private terraces for the apartments as the building steps up, almost like a hillside. All of this forms one continuous matrix of urban living. We nostalgically think about hill towns and villages in which the scale of the individual unit is perceptible within the whole cluster. You look at the hill town, it is a town, but at the same time you see that it's made up of many houses, many individual pieces. And we try to bring this more comfortable scale, which gives individual identity within the collective to the Bishan project. The denser you go, the more challenging it is to achieve sustainability. In other words, uh, what you can do in the scale of a cluster of townhouses is very difficult to do as you go 40, 50, 60 stories up in the air. Some of the key issues are to create a microclimate that's comfortable, to respond to the specificity of climate, in this case, tropical hot climate. The building needs to maximize breezes. It means that all the public spaces within the structure should be enjoying cross ventilation. You need to think of sunlight. In the hot tropical climate, you need to create shade. And this building is also about creating shade. Deep balconies which shade the facade, sun shades on every individual window, cut the sunlight from penetrating and heating the unit. The more shade you create, less energy you need to spend in cooling down the unit and make it comfortable. We talk about green architecture, and of course, green architecture is a broad concept. It is about conservation. It's about building in harmony with nature. But uh, in Bishan, this takes on both a literal sense. The more planting there is in the building, the more trees are supported by the various terraces, the more shade we create, the more sense that nature climbs up on the building and creates its own place within the structure. As you approach the project off the street, you have a sense of all this massive open space with its trees and, and community facilities. And then you sort of descend into the drop-off area where two levels of parking are completely hidden by planting so that they don't dominate the site. As you rise up the elevator, you come out into a courtyard-like space which is actually open to the weather and looks out to vistas of the city. So you're not sort of in an interior corridor, you're in a ventilated space, entering your unit uh, across a bridge or down the passage, at which point you are within your own domain, within the privacy. And then you can go for a walk through the whole network of walkways and bridges from one part of the complex all the way to the other end, bypassing community rooms, swimming pools, gardens, sitting areas, playgrounds, and you can do that at several levels so that you can actually wander about the structure uh, within the building. You don't need to go back down to the ground. And this has becomes part of your daily experience. It's the, the experience of young children. Uh, of fathers and mothers walking around with their children in the building, of uh, older senior citizens who want to spend time outdoors who are able to find the appropriate space that suits them best within the building. The design for the Bishan project is uh, 
comes at the long line of evolution and development of designs, which we have been working on for decades. To bring together all these ideas of gardens, of community space, of community and privacy, of, uh, of permeating the building uh, with nature, all this is coming together as part of an evolution of seeking the maximum level of livability for high-density urban housing. Nothing would make me happier than to be with you in this event today in Singapore. Unfortunately, I'm in Kansas City where we are inaugurating a project, the Kaufman Performing Arts Center, on which we've been at work for 10 years. I look forward to being with you as we break ground in the near future and to celebrate the inauguration of the project in the years to come. Congratulations to all of you.